I think for baseball here in the campus of Brooklyn High School is everyone getting ready for Friday Night Baseball. We've got a District 6A, 6-5A match with your Brooklyn Hawks taking on the Disney Ryan Raiders for Game 2 of their home series. Welcome everybody, I'm Mike Davis here with you tonight as the Hawks look to take both games against the Raiders and improve to 4-0 in district play. Then Ryan made it tough on Broadfield Tuesday as the Hawks came away for a 1-0 win. On the back of Parker, uh, oh, yeah, he was on top of the game, giving up no runs and one hit to go with his 20 strikeout performance. So they'll be looking to move to four and zero oh today. Got ready for the first pitch here as Logan Sepuentes finishes his warmups. Logan making his second start of the season. He's pitched four games, nine innings, giving up ten hits. Only three runs, walked six, struck out seven. Got a 2 3 3 ERA and a 1.778 whip. Number six, Anderson Jordan. Go, Logan! not here tonight as the sun begins to set behind me. And leading off for the Raiders is Anderson Logan. Excuse me, Anderson Jordan. The roster's mixed up. First pitch, swung on, hit towards the gap, and that's going to fall in for a base hit. So first pitch swinging, Logan's on board with these. Now and Jordan's on base with a single. Colin Mills. Beautiful weather here. Game time temp, 80 degrees. No real breeze, shows butt, pulls it back, pitch outside for first ball. One and L to count. And defense for your Hawks. In the outfield, left field, Corey Lockett, Ben Brooks. This is outside again, 2-0. The horn. Brian Martinez at third. Hogan Shelby at short. Alex Showalter and Nico Iwana from third to first. Bush is in there for a strike. And Blake Cashin is Will Bush. As if this is on the hill. Two and one the count for the single by Anderson Jordan. Came out swinging first pitch. Shows Bundy again, gets it down. It's going to be filled up by some winters. Only play is going to be the first base. 
They'll sack punt, lose the runner over now the second. Number four, Jake Simpson. It's going to bring up Jake Simpson. The starting pitcher for the Raiders tonight. Single by Anderson Jordan. Dip comes in at two nine and one, and uh, overall one and two in district. Two games back in the standings, and it's pretty early on as that pitch misses low in the dirt. Regular course on top of the pack at three and zero. Oh. Kind of a cluster of tight teams there in the middle. So on this. Put him on the breaking ball and outside. Runs the count to one and one. It's like a fastball on that one. He's out ahead early on that one. Pitch misses inside. Runs the count to two and one. <laughs> Swung on inside pitch to center field. Under it, makes the catch. Tagging that second is Jordan. And Hill Vince. Gavin McKnight for the Raiders. Two down, runner on third. Logan Sequench is looking to get out of this inning unscathed. Pitch down the middle, strike one. I mean, 0-2. Let's go, Logan. Let's live down here. Doing a good job setting him up with that fastball and coming back with the changeup on that one. 0-2 to count to the catcher. And that pitch is going to be in line to the shortstop. Makes it. Throws over the first. Yeah, not in time. Safe at first. That brings in the first run. Anderson scores. Number nine, Jacob Holzer. Right, so beats up the fifth throw at first. Jacob Holzer comes up on the five hitter. First pitch strike, 0 on 1. Is in the dirt. Good block by the catcher there. Keeps the runner on first base. One on one to count. Come set. One one pitch. Down the middle. Grounds out. Short stop. Second base. Over to first. For the third out. That's going to do it for the inning. 
Ryan picks up a run. Leads this one at the top of the first. One nothing. Your Hawks coming up after this. Welcome back, leading off for Hogan, Shelby. the Hawks, Hogan Shelby, followed by Ben Brooks and Grant Pert here in the bottom of the top, bottom of the first. Hogan Shelby comes in batting 432, 14 singles, three doubles. 614, 1.14 split. Oh, 01. Takes the curveball, grounds out to third. Over to first. And one down. Now batting, number one, Ben Brooks. It's going to bring up Ben Brooks. Sitting 262 on the year. 11 hits, 10 singles, 1 double. 326 on base percentage. That 286 slugging. Finds his team down early. 1 nothing. Pops it. It's going to be shallow left field. It's going to be a tough ball to get to. Left field under it. Dies for it, but doesn't get to it. Brooks is going to take second. Tough play. Adam played over the center, straight over the center field. Couldn't get to it. But a nice attempt for it. Number 23, Grant Pert. Bring up Grant Pert. Batting 344. Tied for the team lead in doubles with three. Got an opportunity here. Runner on second. Ben Brooks with the leadoff double. Jake Simpson set. A one pitch. Curveball misses outside. One and one. Patience there by Pert. Laying off the off speed pitch. Simpson set with the one one. Check it for another second. Fastball fouled off to the right side.
two and one and two to count to Grant. Playing D eights tonight for the Hawks. Off speed pitch fouls it off. Came back with the curveball again. Burt able to stay alive and get a piece of it. Purple down early, one nothing. Ben Brooks on second after the double. One two pitches high. Hits the backstop. Brooks will move over to third. Part now with a better opportunity to bring in a run here. One down, one and two into the count now. Anything in the air or to the right side will bring him in. Two two pitch, curveball misses high, runs the count full. Good job of Pert sitting in there, showing patience at the plate. Yeah, pitch. Ground at the first base. Not deep enough. to get the runner over. Good job by the first baseman there. Just got to snag it out of the hard line drive. Be able to snag that one. I'll bring up the cleanup here. Will Bush. Senior batting 424 in the year. Leads the team in walks with 12. Times for the late team in leading doubles with three. A couple of RBIs on the season. Carbo inside misses 1 0. Two down here for the Hawks. Runner on third is Ben Brooks after his double. That's the third on the wild pitch. Looking to tie things up here. Fouls it off. Will Bush with the open batting stance. Back in the box, one on one to count, two down. One one pitch, curveball inside. Two and one. Simpson's been missing outside, well inside to Bush on that one, but he's been missing that corner with that curveball. 2-1 count here, so we see fastball. Down the pipe. Single to the right field. The drive and the run, and we're knotted up at one. Bush pulls it to right field. That'll bring up Niku Iwanu. First baseman for the Hawks. Hawks rocking the mint green home jerseys here. Two out single by Will Bush. Ties things at one. First pitch taken at the knee, strike one. Fans here don't like it. Bush not much of a lead at first base. Simpson looks in, swings at the ball in the dirt. Bush is going to second. Throw down is in time and he's out. And that'll do it for the Hawks in the first. Tie things up at one. You're watching Birdville Hawks baseball here on Pipe Live.
Welcome back as we get set to start the second inning. Bradbury was able to tie it back up at one after the double by Ben Brooks, brought in by Will Bush's single. We come to the top half of the second. It's going to bring up Jacob Holzer. Logan in there for his second action. And first pitch swinging. Deep play for the first stop. Digs it, gets him out of first. Hogan able to scoop that one out to his right side. Makes the throw over to first. Nice play by the young man. Ventus from the stretch. Pitch misses outside. Yeah. One and one the count. pitch. Tries to get the corner, misses out. <laughs> two on pitch. Fist it. Grounds it over to short. Over to first. Out number two. Brings up Camden Cunningham for the Raiders. Oh. Alex Wilson on deck for the Raiders. Two down here. Oh, one pitch down low, misses ball one. Got to look for a one, two, three inning here in the second. Knotted up at two, excuse me, at one. <laughs> one, one pitch, swung and missed. Took a little something off that one, was ahead of it. Kenny is down to one and two on the count. One two pitch. Early on that one fouls it off to the left side. Kind of just went this. Showing him two off speed pitches. Trying to work off his timing. See if he comes back with another one here. Also pitch misses outside. Let's count even at two. Two out, nobody on. I feel playing in. Gets a piece of it, fouls it off to the right side. Out of play. Kind of doing a good job staying alive. Just making enough contact to still be in there. Let's see if Sefuentes comes back with the fastball. From the stretch, the 2 2. Fastball inside. Runs the count full.
8-0 hitter doing a good job of working the count here on Sefuentes. Full count pitch down the middle, grounds it over to Hogan. Hogan and Tijuana, and that'll do it for the top of the second. One, two, three inning for Sefuentes. We'll go to the top of the second. You're watching Birdville Hawks baseball on Vipe Live. Ioannu Martinez and Lockett do up here in the bottom of the second for the Hawks. Nico Ioannu hitting 375, 15 RBIs, 11 runs scored, 15 hits on the season. Makes the first pitch for a strike. A one pitch. Strike two. Fouls the 0-2 pitch off on deck is Byron Martinez. Very beautiful night tonight. Gentle breeze coming out from center field. Not enough to affect any kind of gameplay action as that off-speed pitch miss is high. Just enough to cool things down. Good crowd out here tonight. Fouls off the one-two pitch. Off his foot. He's going to Take some time to walk that one off. Hey, caught him on the ankle. It's never feel good, especially when it's your plant foot. You got to put that weight on there when you shift your weight, swinging the ball, swinging the bat. You want it back in there from the wind up. Simpson, 1-2 pitch, gets it, grinds back up to Simpson, throws over to first base, and that's going to be the first out of the second inning. Number six, Bynum Martinez. <laughs> it's going to work on Bynum Martinez. Martinez batting 323, 426 on base percentage. Another one that's tied for the team league with doubles with three. Ten hits on the season. Comes in with one out here on the bottom of the second. Pitch. Catches the corner on the inside. Oh, one to count. Jake Simpson holds his glove high in his face. Drops it down to the belt. One, two, well, one pitch. Hits him on the inside. A little breaking ball. Caught him on the thigh. Take first base on the hit by pitch. It's going to bring up Corey Lockett. Lockett. 
Get 13 plate appearances, batting 545, six hits on 11 at bats. Played in seven games this season. Impressive stat line. And then limited at bats for him. He's got to run on first base. Martinez. Not much of a lead at first. Timing off on that one. So a little ahead on that off speed pitch. Owen won the count to lock it. Corey looking for something he can drive here. Get Martinez over. Oh, one pitch again, off speed pitch. Sometimes those pitchers they know they got you got your timing off, they're gonna come back with another off speed pitch. Jake Simpson has a nice little, little curveball, I'd say. Maybe a slider. Likes to try to catch the right side of the plate with it. He was missing earlier within the first inning. He's having success at making the last couple of hitters swing at it. He's ready for the 0-2. Fastball, got some. The first strikeout of the night. It's going to bring up Sigmund. Two down. Mason batting 391, 41 on base percentage, 391 slugging percentage, has nine hits, nine singles on the year, five RBIs. Comes in with two outs. Fouls that one straight back. Got Lina Martinez on first after getting hit by the pitch. From the set, Simpson. Fastball. Pops it up to the first base side. That's playable in foul territory. That's going to fall in, though. Didn't get a good beat on it. Kind of found it and then started going back for it, and it fell in. So... Mason here with second knife after the foul ball falls in. Oh, and two the count. Two outs here, bottom of the second. One one is our score. Both runs coming in the first inning. Off the pitch, that's going to be single in the gap. That's going to move Bynum over. Martinez over third easily. Throw goes in the short. And Sigmund's on board with a single. Then we got Alex Showalter. Number eight, Alex Showalter. That'll be back up to the top of the lineup. Shelby Hogan on deck. He can get on. Set. Fouls that one off. On, Got runners on the corners after the hit by pitch to Martinez and a single by Sigmund. A one pitch fouled back. Joe Walter is batting 438 on the year. 14 singles, 10 RBIs, 8 runs scored. Opportunity here to add on to those totals. At least for an RBI since. Down on the count 02. It's going to miss outside. Count still in Simpson's favor. Probably come back with an op it's curve bars slider here. Comes with the curveball, misses out. 
very patient eye there. This is a little bit outside on that one. Runs the count even at two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runners on the corners for Birdville. Trying to stretch out their tie score, and they will. Balls in to center field. That's going to bring in Martinez. So Showalter. A two out single brings in Martinez, and Birdville leads this one by a score of two to one. Bring us back to the top of the lineup. Shelby Hogan. Grounded to third his last time up. He's got Sigmund and Showalter at second and first, respectively. Low pitch. Grounds at the shortstop. Should do it over to first. And that'll do it for the second. Hawks are able to pick up one. Lead this one by a score of two to one. You're watching Hawks baseball on flow. Pipe Live. We head to the top of the third inning. Birdville leading this one three, excuse me, two to one. First pitch in there for a strike. Alex Wilson. Batting for Denton. Ryan. Wilson, Jordan Mills here on the top of the third for the Raiders. Swift this. 1 1 pitch, grounded over to Martinez. Martinez over to first. And a first out of the inning. The string of six threes that were all the rave in the second inning. <laughs> Sapuenta settling down, keeping the ball on the ground here. That brings up Anderson Jordan. Jordan led things off with a first pitch single on the top of the first. Came around to score. One oh pitch misses outside, ball two. Tough targeted hit. George is not that tall in the batter's box. Two oh pitch down the middle, strike one. It was a pitch he drove in that first inning to get on base. 2-1 outside, skips in the dirt. 3-1 the count. 
Spence is trying to find his spot here with Lo uh, Anderson Jordan. Colin Mills on deck. 2 1. Popped up to the right side. And that's going to be out of play. That makes the count 2 and 2 here with the foul ball. One down here on the top of the third. Across the way, girls softball. Hawks leading that one by a score of 3-2. They were down early in the second inning, 2-0. They are in the top of the fifth, it looks like. Concurrent games go on here. It's a beautiful night for all sports that involve a baseball or a softball. Figure out what they want to do here with Jordan. As you get set, the 2-1 pitch. So Fuentes with the pitch he likes. 2-1, high, fouls it back. He's trying to get him to go upstairs, but he was able to tip it off. Runs the count to 2-2 two and two here. Colin Mills on deck. Two-two pitch misses high. Borchos two-one, but it showed two-one before the foul tip. But the count is three and two. It should be at least three-two pitch swung on fouled back. It just misses the car in the street. <laughs> the bad spot to stop at for that car. <laughs> So three and two the count now. One down here, top of the third inning. Fuentes comes set, let her high. Fastball, fouls it back again. Count stays in three and two. Dangerous cross on the street behind me. So Fuentes comes set, three two pitch. Fastball high. That one's fouled up, but it might be playable for Fuentes. It's going to fall just short between Fuentes and Iwanu. Couldn't get there. Jordan showing himself a tough out here on the top of the third. Lost count, but I believe that's five foul balls. We'll do it again here. 3-2 pitch. Down. Misses just high. And you can tell the thrill of the crowd. Not happy with that pitch. Might have been high, might have been out. Jordan on base again after the walk. We have Colin Mills. Had a sacrifice bunt in the first to move from Jordan over to second. Takes the first pitch for a strike. No official at bats for Colin Mills. Jordan didn't have a big lead at first. Not really getting that outside corner. Misses outside. Ball one. No reason to stay away from it, though. One down here, top of the third. Run on first is Jordan after the walk. That's going to miss low. Two and one the count.
Hawks playing Mills shallow in the outfield. Shaded kind of over to the right side. In at third base, double play dip. Quick throw over, Jordan didn't, have, Jordan didn't have much of a lead at first base. I don't think he's going anywhere. Maybe a three step lead if at the most that. Count even at one. Change up, misses outside, two and one. He's trying to set up Mills for that outside pitch, see if he can get him to chase. Put something on the ground so that he can turn this double play. That doesn't miss, strike two. Count even at two. That pitch is fisted over. It's going to find grass in the outfield for a base hit. Right fielder misses it, gets behind him. Jordan's going to go over to third base. He's going to be held up there. So that's going to be a single and advancing on an error. Coach Bonner is going to come out and talk to Cifuentes. Not really crushing the ball. It's kind of went off the end of the bat. They have the Showalter playing in near the back, actually, at second. So he had Kind of that gap there, that's where the ball landed. If he was in normal, if he was in his normal spot, that would have been an easy scoop and throw over to first base. That stands, single. That's the second on the air by the right fielder. Now we got one down. Mills at second, Jordan at third. Brings up Jake Simpson, pitcher for the Raiders. Oh, one. Excuse me, one-zero -oh pitch. We get the count right there. Now it's oh one. Well, the first pitch of his at bat here, the top of the third. Fuentes. All speed pitch fouled back. Count holds at 0 and 2. The Raiders doing a good job of getting pieces of these pitches. Nice pitches, but you can sit there and work to count if Alley's off. He can wait for that pitch and drive one. Quintus with the 0-2 pitch. Grounds over to second. Showalter with it. Over to first. That's going to bring in the run, though. Number three, Gavin McKnight. So that's going to bring in Gavin McKnight. Catcher, sophomore. We have the RBI single in the first inning. Test on that one. Popped over to second. That'll do it for the top of the third. One run, one hit, one error. We'll go to the bottom of the third. 2-2 two -two our score. You're watching Birdville Hawks baseball on Vipe Live.
Welcome back. We're tied up at two here, heading to the bottom of the third. Bricks, Pert, and Bush do it for the Hawks. Number one, Ben Brooks. Brooks doubled and scored in the first inning on the Will Smith single. See if the Hawks can get some runs going here in the bottom of the third. They've exceeded the scoring output of their game on Tuesday. Uh, one nothing a fair one by the Hawks. One zero pitch. It's in there for a strike. Caught him at the knees. Good pitch. From the windup, one one pitch. Goes down low, gets it, grounds it up to first. I'll touch the base himself. One down here in the top, bottom of the third. Pert grounded out to third base in his first at bat in the first inning. Gets his second look at Simpson. Senior pitcher on the strikeout this evening. His first pitch grounds it to third. This might be tough over to first base, and that's going to be out number two. So that brings up Will Bush with two down here in the bottom of the third. Bush one for one with an RBI. And his RBI total to three on the year. He's collected his 15th hit. Fouls that one off. Saw the pitch he expected. Just couldn't get the head on the bat on it. Oh, one pitch to Bush. Curve ball down. So a couple of quick outs here for the Hawks in the bottom of the third. High strike to Bush. One two pitch, curveball, just misses on the inside. Raiders well, started walking out field, thought they got that pitch. He's been consistent on that call all night. He's not really given that inside, inside pitch there. Two and two the count. Fastball fouled back. Bush staying alive. Broke their pitch count here for a Jake Simpson. Two two pitch. And a looping liner for the third out to the second baseman. That'll do it for the bottom of the third. One, two, three, go the Hawks. We'll be back with top of the fourth action.
As we get set to start the top of the fourth, Jacob Holzer will lead it off for Denton Ryan. Through three innings for Sefuentes, he's given up two hits, two runs. As he comes out there for the top of the fourth. Starts him off. A strike, 0-1. Oh and two to count to Holzer. And the last out of the first inning, 0 oh and 1 on the evening. Down on the count, 1 and 2. Logan set. Holds his glove high at the letters. Grounds it. Picked up by Bush. Over to first. For the first out of the inning. Now batting, number seven, Matt Rodriguez. I'm going to bring up Matt Rodriguez for the Raiders. Third baseman for Ryan. Grounded to shortstop his last at bat in the second. Heading the count, 1-0. Strike at the knees. One, one. Same spot, strike two. Just went back to the same spot, same pitch. We ain't gonna swing at it the first time, didn't swing at it the second time. Head in the count is one, two. It's a good spot to be in. your pitcher. And that pitch is backed up. Smith under it. That's it for the second out. So Fuentes slowing things down here in the fourth inning. Gets the first two batters out. Now batting, number 11, Griffin Whitehill. Comes at Whitehill. He also grounded out to short in his last head bat in the second inning. Fouls that one back. <laughs> Logan looking for his second one, two, three inning. Had one early in the second. Fastball catches the corner. 0-2. Sefuentes head in the count, 0 2. Crowd getting it behind him. Fastball swung through and miss. 1 2 3 inning for the Hawks. We head to the bottom of the fourth. 2 2 our score. You're watching Birdville Hawks baseball on Vipe Live.
now batting number 18, Nico Iwami. Back here for the bottom of the fourth. Nico Awanu leading off. Left hand hitting first baseman. Grounded out to the pitcher as last at bat in the second inning. First pitch misses outside. One-0 pitch, on the stretch. That misses high as well. So Simpson down on the count, 0-2. Excuse me, down on the count, 2-0. Get the count right one of these days. Now, Iwani Martinez and Lockett do up for the Hawks here in the bottom of the fourth, and that 3-0 pitch misses high and outside again. Don't know if he's trying to get him to chase high or if he's just missing that high. 3-0 pitch, high again, and a walk him. So that bring up Bynum Martinez. Started the action in the second by getting hit by the pitch. Came around the score after the RBI single from Alex Showalter. I'll talk to Jake Simpson, try to calm him down. After he missed on four straight pitches high and out. Checking over to my left with the softball action for the Lady Hawks. Looks like they're in the top of the sixth. Still up 3 2. Coaches having a conversation. I don't know what it's about. So we get set. Pina Martinez back in there. So Jake Simpson missing all four pitches to Iwanu. Definitely be taken on this first pitch here. First pitch swinging, pops it up to the left side. Even Chase is the first baseman, wide hit, and able to get there. Kind of my blind spot. Yeah, else too. So Owen won the count after the foul pitch. Sips in the set at the belt. Oh, one pitch shows bunt misses down low in the dirt. Count goes to one and one. Action slowing down here as Martinez comes in. One and one to count. Running at first is. Iwanu, pitch misses high. Two on the count. I feel this is an auto taker for Martinez. Oh, I thought the first pitch he'd be taken. Right, Simpson has had issues here finding the strike zone here in the bottom of the fourth inning. 2-2 two -two our score. 2-1 two pitch. Shows bunt. Either way, it was a strike. Two and two to count to Martinez. You want to at first, not much of a lead. 
Time is caught by Martinez. Hawks control this one at the first inning. Tied it up at the bottom of the first. Took the lead in the bottom of the second. And Ryan takes the lead back. Top of the third as the 2-2 two and two pitch misses high. 3-2 and two the count. No outs here on the bottom of the fourth. 3-2 pitch. Down low on the dirt. Misses. Goes to the backstop. Opportunity here for Iwanu, but he gets to the ball in time. So two walks to lead off the uh, bottom of the fourth. Brings up Corey Lockett. Struck out his last at-bat in the second. Hockey does have three RBIs on the season. Opportunity here to knock in number four and possibly five here. It's got to be patient at the plate on this one. Can't give Simpson anything. He's been missing on that first pitch. Shows bunt. Ball in the dirt. So one and to count. Lockett looking to move over the runners. Iwanu at second, Martinez at first, both on base via the walk. No, it's here in the bottom of the fourth. Gets the bunt down, back up to the pitcher. That's going to move Iwanu and Martinez over. Oh, the first. Error drops the ball. He's going to be safe at first. And everybody's safe. Simpson took his time getting to the ball. Looked a second as he said he was going to go there. And by the time he made his throw over the first base, it was too late. Whitehill couldn't hold on to it. And the bases are loaded here as the Hawks have the opportunity to blow this game open with no outs in the bottom of the fourth and the bases loaded. a single on that play. He might have beat out that bunt either way. Be lenient. But pitch in the dirt again. Raiders do have action in the bullpen. Uh, Sigmund batting. Had a single in the second. Misses again. So Simpson definitely struggling to find the strike zone here at the bottom of the fourth. No outs. Base is full of Hawks. All speed pitch misses. Two and one. Kind of pitch that makes your eyes get big. Sigmund ahead in the count, two and one, no outs. And he kind of hits the outfield, he's going to score a run here. Pops it straight back. Two and two is the count. Hawks trying to break this 2-2 stalemate we have going here. the stretch. He gets set. 
2-2 pitch. Misses high. Runs the count full. This might be the last batter of the night for Jake Simpson. Out getting behind Sigmund. Pitch about straight back. Count remains full. Okay, starting to collapse here. Three two pitch. Fouled back again. Segment like battling here. Full count, no outs, bases loaded. From the belt. Misses, hits him actually. He's going to miss high, hits him on the shoulder. Brings in the run. Coach wants to know if it hit him in the hands. That looked like caught him on the top of the shoulder. Got to bring in Iwanu for the go-ahead lead. 3-2 here. They're going to talk about something. There's something he didn't like. I don't know. Coach is talking everybody out there. Three and two is our score. As we get back to the action here. Three and two are our score. Base is still loaded. No out still for the Hawks. Simpson. Good pitch, swung and a miss. Showalter had the RBI single in the bottom of the second, brought in Brian Martinez. Martinez now on third. Lockett Siegman on the bases. Rounds over to second, should be two. Over to short, back over to first. One for a five, six, three double play. Run does score. Should be five six three double play. So that brings back to the top of the lineup. Shelby Hogan, zero for two, two ground downs, one to short, one to second. I think Showalter might have tweaked his ankle on that play as they're tending to him over there on the right side. Two down now here in the bottom of the fourth. 4 2 are a score. Lock it on third. Hogan. Leading things off. Back to the top of the lineup. Pitch miss is high. 1 0. Oh. 1 0 pitch to Shelby. Outside, ball two. A 
2-0 pitch. Fouls it straight back. Count two and one. Two down now after the double play. Hogan looking for his first hit of the night. Grounded out to short and third in his two plate appearances. That one misses inside, three and one. So control has been the issue here on the fourth inning for Jake Simpson. Two walks, a hit by a pitch. Led to two runs this inning. The 3 1. High. Out of walks. Hogan. Seven issues getting the ball down. All his pitches have been missing high. It hasn't been like he's been wild. They've just been high. 90% like of those pitches. Though he did have a couple in the dirt. But it's not like he's all over the place with his pitches. So that will bring in Ben Brooks. Doubled and scored in the first and grounded to third in his last that bat in the bottom of the third. Comes on with two outs, runners on the corners. First pitch, in there for a strike. A one pitch. Curveball goes down and gets it. Grounds it to second. Over to Whitehead. And that'll do it for the fourth. Two runs, no hits. Hawks take the lead 4 2. We hit to the top of the fifth. You're watching Birdville Hawks baseball on Vipe Live. Back to the top of the fifth. It's going to bring up Camden Cunningham, Alex Wilson, and back to the top of the lineup, Anderson Jordan for the Raiders. As he first pitches in there for a strike. Hawks picked up two in the bottom of the fourth. Lead this one now 4-2. So Fuentes had a 1-2-3 inning, and then with a strikeout to Whitehead. See if he can continue that momentum from the top of the third, fourth. Pitch misses low on the dirt. One and one. Two one pitch misses in the dirt again. Losing control on that. Might be coming over the top with his slider there. So Fuentes is back set. Fastball swung on and miss. Yeah. 
Count evens at two after a couple of two bounce pitches. Let's see if Logan Swintis has found his stride here. Hopes his pitch high for there's two two pitch. Foul tips it off. Cunningham grounded out to shortstop in the second. It was the Hogan inning has all three batters in the top of the second grounded over to him. So if Wins is looking for his second strike out of the night, 2-2 two -two pitch, high pitch, grounds it over to Showwater over to Iwana for the first out of the inning. Now batting number 18, Alex Wilson. Brings up Alex Wilson. Wilson grounded out to Showalter to start off the third inning. Shows bunt, gets the bunt down. It's a good bunt. Picked up by Martinez. Throws over. Close play, but he's going to be safe at first base. Good job getting that bunt down. Kind of died in the grass there. Wasn't able to get to it in time. So Wilson is on with a one-out bunt single. We go back to the top of the lineup for the Raiders. Anderson Jordan. Been on base twice, scored twice, singled in the first, walked in the third. Ball in the dirt. That's going to move over Wilson to second. Scored a wild pitch as that one bounced about two feet in front of the plate. So Wilson over at second after the wild pitch. Jordan's been a tough battle for Cifuentes here this game. It's been his only walk. Heading the count at 1-0 now. That pitch is going to miss low and out. Got a smaller frame, so it's kind of hard to fit in those pitches there. Sometimes you got to sit back and just rock it on fire. So Logan, ready with the 2 0. Pitch down the middle. We popped up. Showalter should have this one. Does. In shallow center field for the second out. That's going to bring up Colin Mills, the shortstop for the Raiders. One and one tonight. Had a sacrifice bunt in the first and singled in the third. Start at the rally for the Raiders in the third. Pitch down the pipe, 0-1. One, oh Foul win in the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors. We head to the bottom of the fifth. 4 2 our score.
Now batting, number 23, Grant Kerr. All right, we head to the bottom of the fifth. 4-2 are a score in favor of the Hawks. Got a new pitcher out there for the Raiders. As Grant Pert, the DH, steps in. Pert 0-2. Ground at the third base. Grounded out to second and his other at bat in the third. Got Denton Ryan's roster, but the numbers are all wonky, so I don't want to miss... Announce his name. We had to close the book on Jake Simpson. Gave up five hits, four runs, all of them earned. Two zero pitch in there for a strike. Two one. No walks and one strikeout for Jake Simpson. He went four innings. Fourth inning, the toughest of his outing, this outing, as Pert swings through the 2-1 pitch, runs the count to 2-2. Two two. So far he's been showing fastball change up, see what it brings here with the 2-2 two two count. Fastball swung through. Hurt goes down on strikes. Got yeah, Bush, Iwanu, do up for the Hawks. Bush singled in the first at the RBI and lined out in the third. First pitch is high to Will. And the count, 1-0. Oh. One oh pitch inside, just misses. Misses Bush, not misses the strike zone. That was way outside the strike zone. 2-0 to count. And the windup 2 0 pitch at the knees, strike one. Just talking to the umpire, calibrating the strike zone on that one. E1 on deck, followed by Martinez, and he's going to do a loft liner to the first baseman, Whitehill, for the second out. Now batting, number 18, Nico Iwana. So they're bringing Nico Iwana. Started the action in the fourth with the leadoff walk. Came around to score the third run of that inning. Got the third run of that game, first run of that inning. Got the rally started there. Seeing if you can get another little two-out rally going here for the Hawks as that pitch skips in the dirt for ball one. Iwan officially 0 for 1 on the evening. Grounded out to the pitcher on his first at bat in the second. Head in the count here, 1 0. Wind up. Low pitch goes for it and fouls it off to the right side. Count even at 1 now to Iwanu. Two down out here in the bottom of the fifth. High. It's missed up. He's missed down on Iwanu. Two and one to count. We sit. Pitch fouled straight back to the right side. That's going to be out of play. So the count evens up at two. If Iwanu can get on, that'll bring up Bynum Martinez.
come set from the windup. Pitch is high, goes for it, swung and missed. And that'll do it for the fifth inning. Well, call him out because he foul tipped it and then said he dropped it. He's trying to say he dropped it on the exchange. It's got me. I kind of went blank on that one. From the looks of it, he's trying to say that he dropped it on the exchange, which would have been an out. He wants him to confirm with the first base umpire. So they'll talk about it. The ball did come out, but was it bef after the exchange? Because if he's going to reach it from his glove to throw it, then he's out. If he foul tips and it drops it, then it's two and two still. So they're going to call it a drop foul tip. So Ioana will still be alive. Count still leaves it at two. So you want to still chance here to keep the inning going. 2-2 Two -two pitch. High. Fouls it off. Catches that time. And that a hold for a strikeout. So 1-2-3 go the Hawks here on the bottom of the fifth. 4 to our score. We'll head to the top of the sixth. You're watching Birdville Hawks baseball on Bite Live. So Jake Simpson will stay in the game. Leads off the top of the six. Over to left field. Under it is Lockett. That'll be the first out of the inning. Got a new pitcher for. Got a new pitcher for the Hawks. How's the feeling comes in? Feeling. Eleven innings pitched this season. Two for 247 ERA. Seven walks with 10 strikeouts. That's first pitch misses down low. <laughs> Gavin McInnish. Singled and grounded out in the third. One for two on the night. One and one the count. 
One one pitch. Skips in the dirt. Two and one to count. Feeling likes to pitch from this stretch. Pitch misses high. It's a duck out of the way. And after he gets Jake Simpson to pop out to left. He's having trouble with the strike zone here versus Mac Knight. Comes in with that three quarter side iron pitch. Walks the catcher. So that'll bring up Jacob Holzer. 0 for 2 on the night. Two ground outs. This team down by two here in the top of the six. Fastball inside misses. He's not getting that corner called. It's the same way for Sifuentes. Closing the bit for Sifuentes. Get to his line here after the 1 0 pitch. That's popped to Brooks. He's under it towards the right side for the second out of the inning. Logan Sifuentes went five innings, three hits, two runs, one walk, and one strikeout. Raiders down to their last four outs here. As the third baseman, Matty Rodriguez, steps in. Goes for the first pitch, popped to the right side. Iwanu under it. And that'll do it for the top of the six. One walk, no runs. We'll head to the bottom of the six, 4 2 our score. You're watching Burville Hawks Baseball on Vibe Live. Welcome back. Bottom of the six, Brandon Martinez, Corey Lockett, and Mason Sigmund do up for the Hawks here. Leading this one four to two. First few innings, both teams traded off runs. One in the first, one in the third for the Raiders. One in the first, one in the second for your Hawks before they put up a two spot in the fourth inning. In Held on to the lead ever since. First pitch misses high to Martinez. 
Been on base both times and scored two runs tonight. Hit by a pitch and walked in that order. 1-0 pitch, misses. This is Lucas Morales for the Raiders as he gets Martinez to chase that one. Two and one the count. Out of one, two, three inning, two strikeouts in the fifth inning. Two one misses, misses inside, just barely. McKnight trying to frame the pitch. Oh, wasn't having it. So the count works, works up to three and one. That pitch is driven to left field down the line. Could be two. Martinez rounds first, falls down, so he's going to have to stay up first. He's still going to go for it. Pitch comes in. He's going to have to get down. Does. Ball comes out of last glove. So he'll be safe at second. So kind of a start, stop, start, stop play there for Martinez. And he'll be in there for a double to lead off the sixth inning. Now batting, number 11, Corey Laquette. That's going to go Laquette. 0 oh for 1. Officially struck out and walked in the fourth inning. Left fielder with the runner in scoring position. Looking to stretch out this lead. That's it. Opportunity there for the pitcher to catch that one. Goes out of first, not in time, so everybody's safe. As Martinez had to hold up, went back to second. Was able to make it to third base. So, opportunity there for the Raiders. But it just wasn't able to get to it. So, lock it on base with a bunt single. It's the second bunt single of the game. An opportunity here for the Hawks to stretch out this 4 2 lead. No outs here in the bottom of the six. Martinez on third, lock it on first. Sigmund singled, hit by a pitch in the fourth. That was one RBI tonight. That ball bounces, can't find it. Okay, will easily take second. So kind of reminiscent of the fourth inning for the Hawks when they were able to, to load up the bases with no outs. They picked up two runs that inning. Threatening here on the bottom of the six. That pitch caught him inside. Pops the second. Might not get there. Does it? Falls in and Martinez will score. Lockett over to third base. Just off the glove of last. The second baseman. Just got a bad read on him. He was playing in on him. Just couldn't get to it. Now batting, number eight. So Martinez scores. Lock it over to third. And we have still no outs here in the bottom of the six as Alex Showalter comes up. One and two for tonight. Singled and grounded into the double play in the fourth inning. Has one RBI, had that in the bottom of the second when he knocked it. Martinez pops up, back nine under it, catches it. That's going to be the first out. Now batting, number 17, Hogan, Shelby. So back to the top of the lineup, Hogan Shelby comes up to the plate. Shelby, two ground outs and a walk in the fourth. Got a runner on third base. 
who would like to come home. Try to extend this lead to 6-2. They lead this one right now 5-2 here. One out. Runners on the corners. Runners going. And that's going to be foul down the left field line as Sigmund was taken off from the pitch. Just took foul down the line. That would have been trouble for the left fielder there. I would have possibly scored in two. The count sits at 0-1. I'll get at third and Sigmund at first. From the stretch, 0-1 pitch, bounces. Gets to the backstop, that might score a run as Lockett comes around to score on the wild pitch. Two wild pitches, gets into second and home. And Hawks lead this one 6-2 now here in the bottom of the sixth. Two wild pitches by the pitcher. Gets Lock at the second and Lock at home. Sigmund at second, one out now. One one pitch popped up to second. Last tracking it in shallow right field is there. Makes the catch for two outs. Now batting number one, Ben Brooks. That brings up Ben Brooks here. One for two, doubled and scored a run in the first. Comes in with two outs, runner on second. Pitch fouled back. Only one to count to Brooks. Brooks does have six RBI on the year. Looking for number seven right here. Get set, the 0-1 pitch, down low. Going on the pitch is Sigmund. Gets over to third, looks like he's in there. They're gonna call him out. Pitcher's low in the dirt, but he's going to be out at third. Well, the Hawks pick up two runs in the bottom of the sixth. Rest your lead is six to two. We'll head to the top of the seventh. You're watching Burgo Hawks baseball on Vipe Live.
Shadow. All right. Hawks three outs away from closing this one out. That's going to bring up the pitcher, Charles Shadowins. Pitch hitting for Matty Rodriguez. White Hill on deck, followed by Camden Cunningham for the Raiders. Their last hopes here. Down 6-2 here on the top of the seventh. Works the count 2-0. Finds the strike zone on that one, 2-1. Two one. Raiders made this game interesting for the first three innings. Took the lead in the top of the first, tied it up in the third, but it's been all Hawks since the fourth inning. And they swing and misses on that one, two and two the count. Hawks put up two in the fourth and two in the sixth and lead this one by a score of six to two. Phelan bounces that one. Count run. Count runs full, three and two. Feeling had a pitches inside to Shadow He's going to take the walk. Now batting number fourteen, Casey Peters. I'm bring up Casey Peters. He's going to bat for Cunningham. I'm sorry, Shadow was batting for White Hill. Then I bring up Peters. Pinch hitting for Camden Cunningham. Cunningham was 0 for 2 in the night with two ground outs. One to short, one to second, or excuse me, one to third. Have the third discussion tonight with the visiting head coach. <laughs> Brett Warnick for the Raiders. And Ryan does have some action in the bullpen. It's far and dark for me to see. And again, I don't their numbers don't match their roster, so it could be anyone's guess who's up warming up for the Raiders right now. And hopes of Getting to the bottom of the seventh, trailing by four here. No outs, runner on first. Pitch to Peters. Swung on. It's right field. Under it. And that'll be the first out. Tagging at first. Had a pitch runner for Shadowin. Now batting number 18, Alex Wilson. Got to bring up Alex Wilson. One for two. Grounded out in the third and singled in the fifth. Gets him to swing at that one, kind of sawed him off and fouls it to the left side. Oh, and one the count. That's it. Throws over the first. Oh, it's going to get him to run down here. And that'll be the second out. Good play by Phelan to throw it over. I don't know if he was back in or what. He decided to pop it, run back. and That'll be the second out of the inning. So Hawks went out away from closing this one out.
A little base running mistake there. I'm not sure what prompted him to take off and go. Maybe he thought the first base would miss the ball. But Wilson swings on and misses. So down to her last out and Alex Wilson. O oh, one pitch, outside, one on one. Feeling with the pitch he likes, comes from the belt, side arms it in there, strike, and that'll do it for the game. So Burville takes this one by a score of six to two, moves to four and zero oh in district play, twelve and two and one overall. I'll take on Fossil Ridge a non-district game tomorrow. And they go to Grapevine for the home and home split there on March 29th, and then back here on April 1st against Grapevine. Grapevine will be a district game. Grapevine sits at two and one right now in the standings. Birdville is in first place at four and zero in the standings. Good game overall. Had to shake off some of the dust there from the first couple of innings, as was two two. Finally broke it up in the fourth and in the sixth, but that'll do it for tonight. As the Raiders pick up two runs, three hits, one error, leave four on base. And your Birdville Hawks picked up six runs, got seven hits, no errors, and left five on base. I'm Mike Davis. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. You've been watching Birdville Hawks baseball on Vibe Live.